I imagine like one of our uh, students had shared his story and how awful that was, but it is a harsh reality that we do come across these types of, of situations. <clears throat> so, um, and it takes all our willpower to like not go and um, hurt that family member. I mean, the neglectful acts of this father that, you know, rolled onto his kid because he was drunk and stuff. That was pretty harsh. And like our other student had shared, you know, taking every, but within this refresher, um, we're going to define battering. We're going to describe the characteristics of an abusive relationship. Uh, we'll also identify considerations when responding to victims of domestic violence, discuss legal ramifications of domestic abuse and child abuse, identify types of elderly abuse and describe the characteristics of absurd, uh, of the abused child with their abusers. In addition to describing the physical assessment of the abused child and discuss the legal considerations relating to the elderly abused. A woman is battered by her husband, boyfriend, or live-in partner every 15 seconds in the United States. Less than 10% of the battered women are um, report battery and incidents for reasonings that might include personal fear for herself or children, belief that the batterer's behavior will change, lack of financial or emotional support, belief that she is the cause of the battering, belief that the abuse is part of the relationship. Domestic violence follows as a cyclic pattern. First, it begins a period when period of arguments and verbal abuse that escalate to a second phase. That second phase progresses to physical and sexual abuse and resolves to a third phase is in which denial and an, an apologetic phase. The cycle starts over after a period of time and will increase in frequency and become more violent. Women of all races, occupations, socioeconomic levels and ages of and ages are battered. It is the leading cause of injury to women between the ages of 15 through 44. Other facts would be one third of all the visits to the ED each year are women who are battered. Each year, four to six million women are battered by a spouse or partner. More women are hurt by violence than in motor vehicle collisions, rapes, and assaults combined. One half of all homeless women and children are homeless due to domestic violence. Wow. 15 to 25% of pregnant women are battered and are more likely to suffer from a miscarriage. Up to 75% of assaults reported to law enforcement occurred after the couples had separated. Between 50 to 75% of men who battered their partners also abused their children. Domestic violence is the sixth most dangerous emergency call for law, law enforcement officers. Facts. Children are present in 40 to 55% of homes where police intervene in domestic violence calls. In 85 to 95% of the responses to domestic homicides, law enforcement have been called to the same addresses at least once during the year before the homicide. In more than 50% of these homicides, law enforcement has been called five times or more. 63% of all young men between 11 and 20 years of age in prison for homicide killed their mother's abuser. <clears throat> Battered men. In 95% of the domestic violence incidents, the, the batterer is a male. But it was not uncommon for the victim to be a male. More than 15... 150,000 men each year are battered by their spouse or partner. Men report battering much less than women as a result of humiliation, guilt, and or fear to admit a loss of control. Society seems to be less empathetic toward battered men than women. Char characteristics of an abusive relationship, intense need for love and affection, low self-esteem, alcohol or drugs involvement, difficulty in finances, legal issues, poor job skills or security, 
history of previous abuse, uncontrolled temper, jealousy, or insecurity. Belief that battering is also a type of discipline, loyalty to the abuser, repeated attempts to leave the relationship, depression. Recognizing the battered patient, his injury description is inaccurate, incorrect, or may be given to protect the abuser. Injuries that are accidental often involve the extremities, but battering focuses on the head, face, neck, breast, and abdomen. Injuries appear old, so the abused patients wait to seek medical assistance. Repeated EMS calls to the same location. Injuries during pregnancy. While you're treating these battered patients, recognition that the patient may be in an abusive relationship. This places the patient in extreme danger. If not transported, abuser may not want EMS personnel alone with the patient to examine the patient or question the patient. Avoid any judgmental questions convey to the patient. Um, <clears throat> you know how they receive their injuries. Give them a way out. Legal issues would be physical assault and a crime that may be a misdemeanor or a felony. Very often the abuser is arrested but released quickly because the victims won't press charges. Most states do not have a mandatory reporting for acts of domestic violence. You, you are, however, bounded professionally to report your suspicions. All violent acts against another person are considered crime scenes. Documentation should include precise information about the scene, patient statement, assessment findings, and disposition of the patient. Also record the names of law enforcement and witnesses at the scene. Abuse and neglect within the elderly patients. Elder abuse was classified into four categories, physical, psychological, financial, or material, and neglect. Average victim is roughly 78 years of age, may have multiple health problems, and is dependent on others for care. Widows over 75 carry the greatest risk. The neglect is the most common from the abuse in the domestic setting, which traumatic injury, the usual finding. Elder abuse is associated with the abuser who has the burden of caring for the dependent and often ill, and often ill elder. Major cases may be, one, the caregiver is under stress, personal problems, financial problems, uncertain how to care for the elderly person. Two, mental and physical impairments are most likely in the elder, making them more likely to be abused. A cycle of violence often occurs with escalating tension that erupts in violence than a, a period of calm. Older adults are often abused by their children, care providers, and as a result, do not report their injuries. In situational abuse, Almost one and a half million older adults are in nursing homes and assisted living facilities. They are at risk for harm, physical violence, verbal abuse, neglect from other residents, caregivers, and staff. Such things may include burns caused by cigarettes, dehydration, malnutrition, decubitus ulcers, emotional abuse, loss of weight, open wounds, unsanitary conditions. With regards to the types of elderly abuse, amongst the physical will be biting, hitting, restraining, and sexual molestation. Financial will be forcing the victim into relocation from their home, selling or misusing their financial resources stealing or misusing their property. Psychological will be causing fear, insulting, intimidating, humiliating, isolating, or threatening. Neglect would be 
ignoring the victim, isolating, not providing food, adequate shelter, medication, companionship, preventing them from seeking medical care or even therapy. All 50 states have elderly abuse statutes. Report suspected elderly abuse is mandatory underneath the law. All right, <clears throat> so in 2001, a Child Care Protective Services investigated over 3 million reports of suspected child abuse or neglect. Of those, over 900,000 were confirmed as abuse or neglect. The neglect is the most common form of abuse, and it's the failure to provide food, shelter, medical care, emotional support. Abuse is not related to social class, income, or level of education. 70% of the abusers are the child's parents. 11% are relatives. Most abusers are under the age of 40, and two-thirds are the victim's mother. <clears throat> Soft tissue injuries are the most common injury. Multiple bruises, pattern injuries, you know, such things that could be thrown or hurt or be used will be a hairbrush, a shoe, a belt, cigarette burns. Fractures are the second most type of injury. Twisting or jerking motion to their arms or legs. Rib fractures are fairly common. Head injuries, you know, most common cause of death. Abdominal injuries are less common, but you know, they can be very serious. <clears throat> Fetal injuries uh, from maltreatment include head injury, uh, trauma of the abdomen, drowning, suffocation, poisoning. Those are all fatal injuries. Um, types of neglect that can cause death. Supervision neglect, so the caregiver is absent at a critical time while the child is in the bath, swimming in the pool, or left in a hot vehicle. Um, chronic neglect will be the malnutrition, medical necessity neglect, <clears throat> such as not giving them their medication or proper supervision when it comes to a chronic medical problem. Um, child physical abuse, cause when the situation triggers physical violence, excessive crying, feeding problems, toilet training, Parents have unrealistic expectations of the child. Types of neglect that can cause death would also include abuse to abuse of another family member in the same household. Characteristic of an abuser, male or female, mid twenties, lives near or below the poverty level, has not finished high school, is depressed or unable to handle stress, has either been abused or experienced violence. The paramedic should examine the patient with another colleague, take up objective notes very carefully and completely, document all relative findings and observations, follow the local protocol for reporting. Oh, it's just horrible. <clears throat> 